Well, here's my Nepalese cash rifle. I finally got one. I waited till the last minute until they cost an arm and a leg and they're nearly all gone. I kept putting it off for years. I wanted to get a British martini, but went in and grabbed one of the Alaska Hendras they had. That's an all right shape. I thought it, I thought I got burned when I pulled it out of the box and saw this pit and I was like, oh no. If it's pitted like this, you know, the bore, it's probably ruined. And actually, no, it was missing this bolt right here. I made that one. That was pretty easy. It was just an M6. But the mainspring, it's fine in it. It's nice and shiny. It's barely even rusted. The firing pin slash hammer is perfectly fine. A lot of these had a broken um, firing pin and broken mainspring. Oh, spring. And the knuckle back here actually makes contact on one little part of it. You know, with light loads, it ought to be fine just with the bolt. But, and it doesn't have the peening like some of them did. Chamber's all right. It's got the, the thing, thing will focus. I don't know why it won't focus. Let me shut the action. Come on, camera. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. I had to find something I could set the muzzle on. See if this one works better. I don't know how to read this yet. But I gotta say, it does look really cool. Um, it's got the one break on the stock. This thing shoots pretty good. i just been using the mini bullets or my name uh, bullets. That I got for that Gra 455, and I've got them sized to 452 to fit in that Gra chamber. But they seem to expand and shoot fine out of this. I, I can barely hit the broadside of a barn with that Gra from Ethiopia, but this thing's, I mean, stacking bullets on top of each other at close range. It's pretty cool. It's got the mandrel welded barrel like a Damascus. And the bore is nice and shiny. The pitting is real minor. The only pitting on the barrel is right along the stock. It's not even very deep. Under the barrel, it like still had grease on it. Definitely the little lug that's on the bottom of the barrel. That pin goes through it was rotted bad. The stock was rotted out right there. That's my half-assed little repair. It's not that good. I'll probably do another one. It's my first attempt or something like that. I had to replace this pin. Just use a stainless one. And that pin was fine. I had the cleaning rod with it. The only thing it gives problems on is uh, well, another thing is the cleaning rod will get pushed in too far. That's a pretty easy fix. I just got to take it apart again. But when you fire it, you open the action, the shells don't come out very energetically. Usually you got to reach in and pull them out. They don't stick in the chamber really, but it does not eject them. At most, those kind of just flop a little bit on top of the action. But overall, I'm happy. I've been wanting to get some old guns. I like to get a flintlock. That's probably the next thing I really want to get. I want to get a flintlock kit, like one of the ones from Track of the Wolf. But this is cool. I still need to get a British Martini, but this will fill in for now. When I was hitting that thing from probably about 60 yards or so, no problem. With that Graw, I got the Graw shooting better with the Pyrodex loads. You can hit, you know, you can keep them all on a paper plate about maybe 30 to 50 yards. Somewhere in there. Past that, it just really starts opening up. I uh, crown the muzzle. I need to do it a bit more. And that helped quite a bit. But, just out here having fun. 
I had to go for a walk. I felt freaking sick all the time. I felt sick all day. I needed to go to the scrap yard and do a bunch of stuff. No. Felt pretty good right when I got up. And about an hour later, man, I had been sick until maybe like a couple hours ago. Boy, and they light up those mountains at night where they got the Afghanis. They're, they're right at the base of those mountains. And at night, it looks like there's a city over there. They must have every floodlight on at the Doniana Range Camp. It... Las Cruces is on the other side of those mountains and, and the light from the range camp blocks out the light from the city of Las Cruces. And I guess this is the f first clouds from Hurricane Nora is coming up to Baja. It's supposed to start raining a bunch here tomorrow. As you can see, all the weeds kind of need it. <laughs> 